But a lot of people do say, buddy, they say true. You interview him a lot. And I tell them, you the second most viewed person on my YouTube channel. I don't know if you know that. I, I did know that. But you know what? This, why, this is really, really, really one of the places I started at. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You a status update. So yeah. it's always a, a, it's, it's dope as hell to come up. It's a pleasure to be up here for sure. Most definitely. I appreciate that. I want to jump right into it, though. You know the legendary K.I. Her mom recently did an interview with DJ U. Yeah. You know, after seeing you and G.I. Joe go back and forth, to see K.I. mom kind of speak about you, you know? Yeah, it's still abrasive. Right. Do that make you kind of regret the back and forth with? Like, honestly, like, I want I wouldn't even want I I ain't even wanna come for little bro neck in the first place, you feel me? Because I just felt like when he came home I should have been the person he he got in lines with anyway because when he was in jail, you know what I'm saying, you had all these fake niggas, they always talking down on him, you know what I'm saying? But now he home, you know what I'm saying, and it's like damn, why 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 why, why throw shade at me on your first whoop letting the world know you really free? Why shit on me? I was supposed to be your brother. Y'all did have a relationship though, didn't y'all? Or was it just you and K.I. with your Nah, no, hell no, nah, boy. G.I. Joe, boy, me, you heard me. Like, even when he was talking to his little shit, like, oh man, we ain't little no more, boy. You ain't gonna, motherfucker ain't gonna be doing that. Be the, motherfucker ain't gonna beat me up now. It's like, cause that was like, them was my real, them was my real family members, bro. Like, no matter how motherfuckers look at it, like, shit, I don't took like, that was my real family. Every day I went to sleep, I ate, we ate the same shit, um, bro. Like, you go back to a lot of my old pictures and me and Kyra, old pictures, nigga, we in the same North Faces and hoodies and clothes and shit. Like, my, what my mama got for me, she got for them. You know what I'm saying? But G.I. Joe ended up getting locked up when Tula okay. died. So he did get locked up. Yeah, he been locked up ever since. You feel me? Then when he get, when he got out, I was already in jail like three years fighting that case with Lil J. When I got out, and then I got all other shit put on me. It's like, I right, moan. You know, we never been, we ain't been on the streets together in a long time since folks, since he broke up out of, out of uh, IYC Chicago and came to my crib. It ain't, no, it ain't no beef, but it's still like, it's something now, it's some tension now. And truth be told, I'm kind of fucked up about it. It's like, I don't even know what the tension for. Like, that's something I want to really know. Like, man, look, bro, I would tell you, like, even though, even if he did feel how he felt on folks, very like, damn, you don't like you could have came to me with it. You know, Frank, you gonna call me first? But I wanna ask you this, though, because I never asked you this. I wanna be honest with you now, you know. I don't want you to take this wrong, but I wanna be honest. Do you have any regrets, though? A, a ton, a ton, a ton, no bullshit, like, a ton. Not with what I say, though, because I say what I say and I mean what I say, especially when you come for me, because I'm always, it's always open arms butter, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm always coming off for showing the most love and respect for a person. Right. Even when I first meet them, you know? And it take it take a certain type of shit to, to give me that. And you got to think, I'm really one of them people that really observe. Like, God pay attention to everything, every detail to everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, not all the time I'm going to say something when you do something. But that's something I'm, I'm like, okay. You seem more chill now. You know, a lot of people don't say this, but, but I'm going to drill the story, okay? I'm not just an interviewer. You, you no. get interviewed a lot by interviewers. Yeah. But I'm going to drill the story, and it happens to interview, okay? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. When I did my homework, it tells stories of you being very aggressive. You know, it tells stories of, you know, you one of the twins. <laughs> You know, it was dangerous for you, wasn't it? Brother? You was targeted, wasn't it? Yeah, a lot. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like when it come down to this shit, like a lot of people don't even understand. Like, yeah, I'm cool as hell. But a lot of my aggressive man, the evil shit that I do and what I have done is not. It's not because it's something like I intentionally can't look one out looking for. Right. But it's like shit. When it's when I gotta protect myself and it's a you and me and him and them situation shit, you know I'm I'm, I'm going home with the people I came with. Right. You know what I'm saying? We kind of get we lead together. And if I gotta be the most aggressive one out out the crowd, so be it. Um, bro, you know early in the drill culture, 
they refer to you as like the twin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you got like a famous sin, like shout out to them twins. Right, and then it's that another was crazy scene. shit that Lil J said. I from that moment, that's why I want to. Okay, we're going there, brother. We're going there. And then, okay, I want to say on that one. I will. We'll get to that one later. Did that? That right there from that moment, your life was different. Now nah, my shit was already different. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about it. I'm I'm butter from the deuce. You feel me? Like I come from dark side, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've been in this shit since '98. Um, bro, four years old in this shit. Now I'm just laughing. But they insinuated like. Just not just K app, but like you know, I don't want this shit to get too policey, but you know, the twin shit did people made it seem like you hurt people, you know. Man, I just I'm just good with my hands. I'm um, bro. Right. Did any people try to put like police on you at that time when that statement came out? Of course, man. You know, they snatching us left or right. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's like it's still something they gotta prove, bro. But it went until it went until like later on into my life after I like I turned twenty one and shit. I thought that shit went away. I thought life was just life, and you know what I'm saying. And then you get requested for some shit, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna put this shit on you then." Right. It's like, whoa, what the fuck? They don't understand that. They just think like, "Oh man, butter." Got wrapped up in some shit and, and, and when it and when it got to just talking, hell no nigga, I was already wrapped up. Another motherfucker got wrapped up. And y'all not paying attention to it. Like, sure they even took the stand on this house. You know what I'm saying? This is why everybody mad at me now because of that shit. Because right. motherfuckers like, oh man, buddy, you shouldn't have said that. Why the fuck would I why would I tell them what what Kyra's did, man? Like ain't no matter no matter how motherfuckers put it, bro. Little sisters gone, folks. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately. But shit. Somebody got to take the case. Somebody got to take the, Somebody got to go to jail for it. And I'm looking at this like shit. Folks don't want me to go back to jail. Folks don't want me to be in jail for that shit. Folks don't feel like I should just sit in jail. The police was trying to put that Odie Perry case on you, buddy. I ain't did nothing, man. I won't even out that cuz. I'll get off of that, buddy. I'm, 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 I'm going to get off of that. But I did want to add to that because that twin statement. That I shit was like crazy. Your life, you know? Like I ain't gonna lie, like motherfuckers don't even understand. Like that shit, that, that shit did take a big impact on our lives because not only did you have the the world looking in on motherfuckers who legit folks this big star, you know. Not only is he the world looking in, but you got you got the police looking in on us too, though. You got homicide looking in on us. You know what I'm saying? A lot of our names been brought up in shit. Cause niggas is getting caught with guns and niggas is going to get wrapped up in murders. So it's like, all right, whatever we posting on the internet, it's like it's solidified what they already know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So hell yeah, that shit, it did, it did change our lives. You know what I'm saying? It made us have to move a lot wiser because now the jump out boys, they been jumping out on us because they know we the runners. They know motherfuckers when they get up on us, they know we going to run for sure. Right. Right. But now they over jump out on us every time. Ain't no questions asked. Oh, they got the shooters, y'all. These the shooters right here. Right, you became super famous on the internet, and you weren't even rapping at that moment. Oh hell yeah, no. Nah. Right, but everybody knew who you were. I was were. just with the rappers. Right. You feel me? I wanted to be a rapper though. Nah, I still that's... do want. Like, that's why. Like, 